Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session of software testing methodologies, now we are going to describe about the principles of state testing. So what are the various principles of state, state testing or state transition testing? A state testing is also called as the state transition testing. Okay, so what is it actually? It is used for what? It is used for path testing and flow graphs. We are going to test the state of a particular uh, object, whatever it is, how it flows, the path testing and the flow graphs. Here, we already, the strategy of this test, test, state testing is analogous and the, it is mainly used for path uh, testing and flow graphs. That's what the first point is stating. Next, we are going to see it is very impractical to go through every possible path in the flow graph. Is it right? So, we cannot touch each and every path in the flow graph as we discussed in our past videos. So, here also it is impractical to go through every path in the state graph. We cannot touch each and every path in the flow graph as same as it is in the state graph also we cannot touch every path in every possible path in the state graph. Okay, so here whatever we are talking about the flow graphs, the same kind of the phenomena is used in the state graphs also. So it is somewhat similar to the identical to the state graphs, sorry flow graphs. Okay, so even though more state testing is done as a single case in a grand tour, it's imp impractical to do it uh, that way for several reasons. Okay, so um, we can do the grand tour what is the meaning of the grand tour from the starting of the problem from the starting of the state to the ending of the state for example the starting of the state is 1 and the ending of the state is 0 for example sorry let us see here for example i am saying this is a path here it is the starting state and we come across to see various number of the states and finally at the last we reach to the state number n okay so in between we are having state 2 state 3 state 4 state 5 etc etc we are having multiple number of the states in between okay so from starting 1 to n we cover all these things is called as a grand tour is called as what a grand tour okay so even though more state testing is done single case in a grand tour in the state testing we are testing from one state to the another state in the grand tour so it's very diff impractical actually we cannot touch all the states as we discussed in the previous point it is impossible to touch every path as in the flow graph as in the state graph here also the complete grand tour is impractical for several reasons okay next one we are uh, having the early phases of testing we cannot complete the grand tour because in early level of the testing we may come across various number of the bugs okay so later we understood the testing objectives uh, we have tested only few states and uh, transitions then also we cannot do the grand tour because the grand tour is uh, some time waste thing that time because we know already how to uh, reach from one state to the another state the starting state to the end state finally in a bug free environment so making the grand tour for identification of the bugs is a completely waste of the time okay so there is no much history in a long test sequence so much as has happened that verification is difficult okay see the test sequence uh, whatever we have done that verification from starting test to the ending test is completely difficult because multiple number of the tests multiple number of the states we have to come across as we have discussed in the previous it is very difficult to pass from one each and every path or each and every link or each and every node in the flow graph or in the path graph so the long testing sequence each and every node each and every link we are going to test and each and everything verification is impossible and sometimes difficult and sometimes it's impossible okay so that what it is saying is grand tour is completely waste of time if we complete all the bugs from the initial state to the end state and as well as the verification of each and every node and each and every link is also very difficult and sometimes it becomes impossible 
okay so what is the starting point of the state testing here we have to remember three points that is the first one is set of covering input sequences get back to the initial state when start from the initial state so some input sequences we have to keep for each step in the input sequence define the expected state next state what it should become and what is the transition that is to be come at the expected transition and what is the output that has to be come okay so next what we have to do at the starting point of state testing a set of tests then consist of three set of sequences what are they input sequences corresponding transitions to the next state and as well as the output sequences okay first of all we need to select the set of the input sequences and then we have to select the expected state expected transition and as well as expected output code so these three things we have to take into the consideration okay so this can be simply written as input sequences and uh, corresponding transitions and the output sequences okay so what are the limitations and what are the extensions of this particular uh, state testing okay so now we see what are the limitation extensions of the state testing state transition testing coverage in the state graph does not guarantee the complete testing this is the first point we have to remember because the we are going to conduct the state transition testing but it never is complete bug free environment we cannot guarantee that it is a whole testing or this is a complete testing okay how defines a hierarchy of paths and methods for combining paths to produce cover the state graphs so we can derive some set of the paths and these paths produce and cover some kind of the state graphs the simplest is called as zero switch which correspond to the testing each transition individually here switch is there zero switch and one switch so these two using these two switches we have to trans we have to check the transition uh, individually for each and every transition by the using the zero switch or one switch and the next level is one switch the testing transition sequences consist of true transitions called as one switches the maximum length of the n minus 1 switch where n is the number of the states okay so we can use this kind of the switches either zero switch or n switch one switch the maximum length of the switch where there are number of the state n is the number of the states like uh, for example five are the number of the states four number of the switches we have see here the simplest switch is called zero switch which one minute the simplest is called as zero switch which correspond to the testing the each transition individually we can select the each and every transition individually the next level is called as the sequence of two two transitions that is what consisting of two transitions that is called as one switch so what it is saying is the maximum length of the switch is one n minus one switch for example i am having seven number of the states so what is the number of the seven number of the states so what is the maximum length of the switch that is 7 minus 1 that equal to 6 okay so that equal to what 6 in the same manner if i having the five number of the states i am having how many number of the switches that is the four number of the switches okay so we have to implement this particular state testing in the case of the situations where there are helpful so where the situations are helpful there only we can use this kind of the state testing and the other kind of the limitations and extensions are any processing where the output is based on the occurrence of one or more sequences of events such as detection of specified input sequences sequential format validation parsing and other situations where in which the order of inputs are important so any processing where the output based the output is based whenever we are looking for any kind of the output so that output is based on some set of the factors so what are the factors the occurrence of one or more sequences of the events the second one specified set of the input sequences first one is what one or more sequence of events here one or more sequence of events this is the first factor and now coming to the second one the set of specified input sequences and the third one sequential format validation fourth one parsing and fifth one is the other situations where the order of inputs is the 
important things so whenever you want to produce any kind of the output these are the output based things we have to take into the consideration of these all things to produce the exact output whatever we want okay the next one most protocols between systems between humans and machines between components of a system okay we use most number of the protocols normally between the systems between human and machines between components of a system there are drivers such as tapes and disks that have been complicated it try to recovery procedures if action depends upon the state so what are the other protocols we are following in the state testing are protocol between systems between human and machines between components of a system and device drivers like tapes and disks that have complicated retry to recover the procedure this is also one of the limitation we are talking about the limitation okay so whenever a feature is directly explicitly implemented as one or more tran more stat transition tables whenever a feature is directly and explicitly implemented in one or more stat transition tables so what is the first limitation for the state transition graph it does not guarantee the complete testing so it defines the how hierarchy paths and combining a paths in a difficult manner and n minus 1 switches will be there for n number of the states and coming to the next one so to uh, the output is based on the occurrence of the sequences of the events and input and uh, validation parsing and other situations so output is depends on multiple number of the factors if at all any one of the factor is missing the output will not come so the next one is this is completely based on this kind of testing is completely based on protocol between systems between humans between components of a system okay so device drivers are also complicated here to action depends upon the state so whenever a feature is directly and explicitly implemented as one or more transition table so these are also some complicated issues of uh, state testing or state state transition testing okay so these are the limitations and extensions we have to remember and the principles of this uh, state transition testing these are the things we have to remember in the coming video we discuss about the problem with pictorial graphs and what are the various tools for this the all these things we are going to see okay so if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel i request please all of you please subscribe my channel suggest comment of all videos thank you thank you one and all